um, you can go with your, your standard. Oops, right. Hey, how's it going? Level Up Leroy, the Comic Con DJ here. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all keeping safe, guys and girls, okay? Um, I've had a few people message me in my inboxes uh, through my various social media platforms asking me about what equipment am I using for my streaming and and how am I going about it. Um, I've been going about it a couple of different ways as I've been experimenting because, let's face it, we've all been thrown in this kind of we've lost our gigs, right? And we all want to get out there. We want to DJ to people. We, we love music. We love what we do. And we still want to get that out there. So um, we are now all trying to hustle and, and put our gear together. So I've done it in a couple of different ways. And I found a setup for me that works the best um, is the setup that I'm currently running. Um, I'll go over it with you. I'll go over a couple of the other options that I've had as well. Um, I'm no expert in the matter. I'm just trying to help a few few guys and girls out. So Hopefully we can get you up and running, streaming somehow, and we can go from there. So first of all, before we do any tricks or anything on the decks and the mixers, if we haven't got a camera, we can't film them, right? So I'm using a Logitech C920 HD. It's a really good little webcam. Um, It's fairly reasonably priced. I do know at the moment, places like Amazon and such like uh, Argos and things, they're, they're struggling to keep up with demand because obviously our whole world is now working from home or wanting to stream. Um, so don't panic too much if you can't get hold of one. If you've got an old webcam or if you've got one that you can dig out from somewhere or borrow from a friend, as long as you borrow it in a social distancing kind of way, leave it out, go collect it, all of that stuff. Um, that's cool. If not, don't panic. You've got one of these. You've got a phone. Um, you can still stream. So there are a couple of ways of streaming through phones as well, uh, using various sound cards like this. Um, And you can also use your phone to stream via the program that I'm now using, which is OBS. Um, And you can download that for free on Mac and Windows, or you can download Streamlabs OBS, now available on Mac and Windows as well. Um, They're both great programs, and I'll touch into those a little later on. So one of the ways that you can record your sound, and this is the first way that I did it, uh, was one of, with one of these, something like a mix box um, from Evermix. You can go straight into the bottom of your phone. You can plug in. I believe they now have an Android version available as well. They have a dedicated app, so you can record a set, upload it to SoundCloud, MixCloud, whatever you like. But also you've got the option of going straight into Facebook or Instagram hitting that live button and the audio will come through and play through beautifully and you'll get a really lovely warm sound. Um, and this also charges your phone up while you're doing it as well. So this it's kind of a win-win. You were saying that um, the only people in the music business now, in your opinion, who were being truly creative were the rappers. Yes, I believe that's so. Simply plain, I knew they'd eventually change Just take a trip down memory lane With the game talker, native New Yorker Gators on my feet, formerly British walker Yes, love this album There are other options, there are cheaper options available um, Like the leads, etc um, I have found in the past, it's just personal experiences That sometimes the leads, that f- for some reason they'll just stop working Or you can't quite get them right Um so I, I always find that perhaps maybe having something that is a designated sound card is, is going to be much more solid. I do also know that Roland have just released their Roland Go mixer, um, and that's in around about the £70 mark, whereas these are sort of £110 upwards. Um, so I'd love to get hold of a Roland mixer to give it a go as well. As you know, I'm a big fan of, of Roland. I use the DJ808. Um, I'd love to get my hands on one of those little uh, controllers just to see how how the sound comes out from from that as well. So in regards to getting my sound out of my mixer and getting a nice, clean, crisp microphone sound, which is something I tend to struggle with with DJ mixers from time to time, more so when I'm recording than when I'm live. Hey, what's going on? I thought I'd just have a quick jam. Hope this is all coming out nice and uh, clear for you. Just feeding it through my phone today. 
So I'm now using a Behringer uh, Zenex QX1002 USB, which is a very long way of saying I've got an external mixer sound card, basically. Um, it's really great because I can plug my microphone directly into it. Um, I can plug the mixer directly into it. Um, and I can sort of kind of play about with that. I can get some nice warm sounds through that. Um, and I can monitor where my mic level is compared to my music as well. Uh, and more importantly as well for me when I'm coming out of it, as as most of you DJs will know out there, we're, we're, we all get sort of carried away with the moment. And when we're DJing, all we want to do is get that music. We're mixing, we're mixing, we've got the headphones on and we keep sneaking up. It keeps getting louder and louder and louder. Um, now it's very important when we're streaming to try and keep those levels flat and trying to keep them out of the red as best as we can because um, in a club or in a festival sort of sound system you can kind of get away with it it's, it's going to boom out you're going to be fine uh, if people are watching these sets on their phones their tellies or their computers at home you're going to get some serious distortion and and it's just not going to sound good so what I've been doing is making sure that I'm coming out from my master into the mixer so I can control those levels and I can keep them keep them down. And then I'm using where I've got my, my, my monitor speakers, I'm actually running them out of the monitor, the booth monitor there. So when I do feel like I need to crank it up, um, I'm using, by the way, I'm using the Pioneer SDJ 50Xs uh, for the monitor speakers. Um, but when I want to do crank it up, I just... Just hit on the booth, straight up, as loud as you like, whereas I'm keeping those levels going into the mixer and into the recording on OBS nice and flat for people. So, so we're not blowing up their computers and their TVs at home. So as I was saying about having the sound going through a secondary mixer, um, for just for example, I can play this track. Um, I know you guys can hear this coming through the mix. I can't hear it at all. So this, this track is now playing, you can hear it, I can't. Not until I put on the booth speaker. Now I can hear the mix. So I can crank up, I can crank up my booth speaker mixer as, as loud as I want, have it off completely um, and control it there. That also then gives me the chance to have a secondary control up here where I can cut the music, or I can bring it back here and I can adjust the sound levels again. Just one of those handy little things to have. So, microphone-wise, you've got a few options, of course. Uh, I'm using a standard Shure Beta here. You could go with the SM58, the old classic. Um, and that's plugged in directly into the uh, Behringer mixer. Um, I have also, on my previous show, used... Have used a Snowball uh, from Blue. So... They do a lot of USB mixers, and that was fantastic. Uh, up until I could sort of plug it into this Behringer, I was using this. Uh, the only problem with using a USB mic is that I'm then having to use another computer to switch it on and off, so I'm not getting feedback from my monitor speakers when I'm not talking. Um, However, what I'm saying is if you haven't got these kind of mics available to you and you've got a USB one knocking around... Just grab it, use it, plug it in and, and get going, get talking. Because I think the, the biggest part of these these sort of DJ shows or if you're, you're playing your sets, and I appreciate there are a lot of DJs out there that are, are very, it's all about the mix and I understand and I appreciate that. But in these times where we're trying a stream, people really love to engage with you. So you, you could be streaming and people will be putting on the comments, hey, how's it going? You haven't always got time to stop and, type something so if you've got a microphone plugged in just giving people a little shout out so they hear their name on their telly it, you know it's boosting people's spirits and that's what we're doing this for right so the main program that i use obs to stream uh i use that on a separate computer another mac completely i have my mac that i use with serato obviously some of you guys and girls might be using tractor record box virtual dj various other programs or you might have you might be lucky enough to have like a denon prime etc um but i would always recommend if you are streaming and trying to stream to have the two separate computers one that's handling what you're doing djing wise the other that is handling the stream so you're feeding the stream from your decks into obs 
And on a side note to that, if you do want to do any video mixing like I do, I've been experimenting with green screen, as you've probably seen, um, then you definitely, definitely want to have a second computer because the load that that puts on your machine is, is huge. Um, so definitely don't put all the pressure on in one machine. We don't want to see computers blowing up here. <laughs> Hey, I hope you've enjoyed that and you'll be up and running and streaming in no time at all. I will follow up this video with some more tutorials. We'll have a closer look at OBS. We'll have a look at getting your videos if you want to do video DJing onto OBS as well. And we'll dive into the realms of green screen. Um, and also once I've mastered it, as you can probably see now, lighting. Um, that's something that I really want to get to grips with myself and could learn a lot more about. So uh, hopefully you can join me on the journey and uh, hit the subscribe button and then you won't miss out on those. Um, if you do get up and running and streaming, I'd love to see your videos. Pop links to them uh, in the uh, comments section below as well. And don't forget, you can catch me over on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, and of course, obviously here on YouTube, uh, all at Level Up Leroy. Take care of yourself. See you next time.